Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course Aspects of Biochemical Engineering. Now, in a couple of lectures, we are, we are dealing with uh, the living cells and uh, living cells both in the form of uh, free cells as well as in the immobilized, in the immobilized cells. And uh, we discussed different processes like batch process and continuous process. And continuous process, we have come across chemostat and, and the plug flow reactor. Now, uh, uh, this uh, particular lecture is something different because we are going to uh, discuss a, a, a new type of process, what we call fed batch process. And I mentioned uh, before that uh, for the substrate inhibition, we usually prefer the fed batch reactor because in that, uh, and I, I, here I want to point out in case of product inhibition, we usually prefer the plug flow reactor. So now question comes how the uh, fed batch system can be operated and how it can be analyzed. So this, uh, this I am going to discuss in this particular uh, lecture. Now first let me consider that, you know, that uh, what do you mean by fed batch process? Fed batch process means that uh, the batch culture that is fed in the media either intermittently or continuously without removal of culture fluid. So what does it mean? That you know, suppose this is a reactor, am I right? This is a, this is a reactor. So we start with small volume and, uh, and then this is the reactor, this is moving. So there is the input. We, we, we may pass the, as a particular flow rate of substrate, but slowly so the liquid, uh, the height may be increases and when it comes here, then we stop the flow. Then the, let the reaction complete, then we take the liquid out. So this is the fed batch. We are, and this feeding may be of two different types. One is variable volume, one is fixed volume. Variable volume means is, is, is slowly, slowly you can, uh, at, uh, you, you, you have this, you can increase like this, like this, you can have that. And, uh, and fixed volume means with respect to time, we you can keep on uh, adding this some volume with this in this particular reactor. So these are the these are the things that we have usually used for obtaining very slow gro slow growth rate, resulting the substrate limitation, and can be operated two ways. One is variable volume, another is big volume. Now question comes: How you ensured your substrate con substrate utilization is more? Let me analyze that. So what I am saying that uh, this is a reactor. Now this is moving like this. Now when you when you when you consider the batch process, how you how what is the basing uh, the the feeding strategy we have? We have like this. We take the material, allow it to react, and then take out the material again. We have take the material, then allow it like this. This is with respect to time. This is volume. Am I right? This is the batch process. Now, if you consider the fed batch process, wh wh what is the strategy that we have? We have here also we have volume, and this is time. So we initially we start with some volume. I have shown you in the reactor. We start with some volume. This is the volume. Then we we increase slowly, slowly, and they attains the then another this uh, this volume. What is the the final volume. Then we take the material out. Am I right? Then again, we we start this operation again. We we increase the volume. We can take it out. So it is, is it, this is stepwise. We can we can we can operate the system. Another way how we can operate. So this is the this is the way you can you, you can find out. Another way. That uh, that now here, one interesting thing is that if you if you look at the substrate concentration, substrate concentration with respect to time, 
Now, substrate concentration will will keep on decreasing. Suppose in this reactor, you you put the your raw materials and allow it to react. Then what will happen? That uh, substrate concentration will decrease with respect to time. When it comes to minimum, then again you feed it. So this is you can increase the feed like this. Now here you 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 imagine here you have the volume V one. Now next when you add this is V two. Now when you add V two, this will be little concentrated material. Am I right? So so that it can it can have the substrate concentration. What do you have is zero. The same level again. You can you can decrease like this. Again, you, you can increase like this. Again, you can decrease like this. Again, you can increase like this. And until and unless you reach the final volume. Now, if you if you look at the other type of strategy that we have, like S versus time. So what we can do, we can we can first we start with the volume, let the re reaction take place, and then then we we we, we start feeding the the, the substrate decreases. Then again, we feed. After we come it here, come here. This is a zero value, and then we continuous feed in the manner so that you know your this value remain is zero, and then finally when we reach the final volume, we its substrate concentration decreases to this. So uh, this uh, different type of uh, feeding strategy we can use in case of immobilization system. now uh, here here we have given the example of the variable volume feed so we start with this volume we can this is the start then we increase little bit you can see that below and final volume we did it then when there is the final volume this is the final volume am i right final volume when is reached the final volume then we do the harvesting of the of the of the material now question come how you analyze this system now rate of flow that you know flow rate what is the unit of flow rate what is the unit of flow rate if flow rate is equal to volume per unit time am i right so this is exactly we have we have shown here dv by dt this we can write dv by dt dv is the change of volume this is per unit time this is called flow rate now we are adding uh, this substrate at a flow rate f and initial substrate concentration is zero so what we can write uh, change of volume v, v what is this is initial volume might be you have v0 and final volume you might be having v so v0 to v the dv equal to 0 to uh, v dt this is f into dt this we can this we can write in this form and this is equal to v equal to v0 plus ft where v is the volume of the reacted at time t and v0 is the initial volume of the reacted so we start with v0 volume and then continuously add it to make the volume up to vt so this is the this is how we can find out the volume of the fed batch reacted now uh, let us uh, let us discuss about the kinetics of the fed batch uh, cell growth how we can discuss the kinetics now here uh, we we can consider the uh, the pseudo uh, steady state uh, condition what do you uh, i i told you in my previous uh, couple of lecture that pseudo steady state means not exactly steady state we assume that it is approaching towards the steady state condition that is the pseudo steady state tends to as for example sometimes we say that x suppose we we see we we always say that x tends to or s tends to 0 s tends to 0 doesn't mean s is equal to 0 s tends to 0 means it tends to 0 it is something uh, similar that you know pseudo steady state also like this it is tends to steady state condition now was the steady state condition is added surface added equal to surface consumed so if you if you do that then and only then you can uh, you can keep on adding the substrate and because you have to maintain the substrate concentration below the inhibition level 
suppose above this level we have substrate inhibition. So, to maintain this uh, inhibition level we shall have to add the substrate in a manner that uh, whatever the substrate that is consumed that substrate you have to add. So, that this uh, and final when final volume reach then you stop the feeding then substrate concentration will keep on decreasing with respect to time. So, when th so what you can write the mass balance how you can write this is the rate of input equal plus rate of cell generation uh, equal to rate of cell output plus rate of cell accumulation and cell death. Now, if you consider this is the steady state condition, this is if you consider the down steady state condition, then because the because you are adding, you are now taking it out from the system. So, what is the rate of input f into f x 0? This is here, let us assume this is x 0, that this is uh, what is the growth that will take place mu into x is the d x by d t. So, this will be d x by d t into v, am I right? This is the volume will be take place. The output will be 0, there is no output in the fed batch reactor and rate of accumulation everything is accumulated in the system, cell cell accumulation can be expressed like this and we can we can assume that there is no cell death occur in the system. Then we can assume this is x 0 equal to 0 when we have sterile feed. If we have sterile feed then we can assume that no cell present in the media then we can assume that this is equal to 0 and then this equal to <coughs> then we will differentiate this x and a x and b then we can x d p by d t and b d x by d t. Now, d x by d t if we assume rate of cell formation that is assumed to be 0 that is not uh, uh, the changing then constant then we can write this is equal to x into d p by d t. Now, this is equal to mu 1 by v d v by d t equal to f by v. So, f by v what is f by v? f by v is the dilution rate that we have already seen this is nothing but equal to the dilution rate. Now, again now here we have what we have d equal to. So, this is equal to we can write that mu equal to d f by v 0 by f t this sequence right. Then uh, from the monod equation what is mu equal to mu max s k s plus s. So, we can bring this and we can we can by using this equation we can easily find out what is the state the what, what is the substrate concentration at time t that we can easily easily find it out here. Then, uh, then now the biomass uh, biomass concentration at time t can be given by uh, by x x is the total cell mass and uh, the x is the, the the cell mass concentration then x t is the total cell mass divided by volume is the cell mass concentration so the quasi steady state condition the dx by dt we assume to be zero then we can write d x t by v by d t equal to 0, then we can differentiate this, we will get this this equation and this is the formula that we have and then this equation we can write in this form d x t by d t equal to x t by v d v by d t equal to f into x. This we can analyze and we can write like this. Finally, we find that x total uh, to is equal to x 0. Uh, plus uh, this we can write x, x t equal to x 0 x t minus x 0. So, uh, this uh, we can we can also we can write in the form of uh, this also this we have seen before also that uh, this is, uh, is uh, how it is related with the substrate concentration this we have done b b before with the help of bill coefficient we can find it out. Then now, when s equal to zero and x zero is much less than uh, x t, so x t is the uh, total cell mass concentration is very high as compared to initial cell mass concentration. Then this equation, with this equation, we can write this we can neglect. So we can write x t equal to x. This also we can neglect. Then x t equal to y x by x by s into s zero. Then this equation, if you combine, we can d x t by d t equal to f uh, y x t by x 0. The integrating this form, 
we can have this equation x 0 plus f y x by is s is 0 into t. Now, this is the boundary condition we can say at t equal to 0 x t equal to x 0. That, uh, that condition we can have. Now, uh, how we can find out this uh, this, uh, this uh, kinetic constant by using the line of a Bach plot, we can do that. That we can we can put 1 by d versus 1 by s because by this line of a Bach plot by using monot equation, we can find out the intercept will give you the value of 1 by mu max and slope will give you the case by mu max. Now, this mu max value you put it here, you will get the case value of the organism. Now, let us discuss that another another interesting feeding strategy that we have with the constant volume batch process. So, what uh, what I mean that uh, we are uh, we are here in this uh, in this case, what is to doing that a very concentrated solution of limiting substrate is added intermittently at a very low flow rate and lower than the variable uh, variable fed batch process resulting in significant increase in volume. So, what does it mean? Mean that you know that volume we are not increasing much so only we are increasing we are adding the concentrated you know substrate solution just to maintain I as I told you that uh, this S0 value we, we want to maintain constant with respect to time. So, you keep it constant and then then when uh, when it reaches the final volume, then it keep on decreasing like this. So, this is the constant volume feed, this is the another strategy that we have in the fed, fed batch process. So, here here the analysis we can do like this, since the limiting substrate is acid inter intermittently and rate of change of the cell mass is depends on the flow rate or such that d x by d t equal to g into d x by s equal to this is uh, g into y x y. What is g? g is the substrate feed that is a gram per liter per hour. That is the, so you have gram per liter per hour. Now, what is this yield? This is a gram of substrate, am I right? So, now what is this yield? This is a gram of cell per gram of substrate. So, this substrate substrate will get it. So, you will give it the gram of cell produce per liter per hour. This is what we mentioned that d x by d t. Now, cell mass balance can be written as that uh, we have already know, uh, shown this several times. The rate of input equal to plus cell generation equal to rate of output accumulation and cell death. Now, here uh, we can we can write f into x 0 we, we have shown before then this is the rate of cell mass growth the output is 0 no output here this output is totally 0 and this is the accumulation of the cells and we assume no cell death then we can write this equation in this form. Now, if you if you look at this equation then we can bring it bring it back uh, in this form that uh, the volume uh, if we assume the volume is constant the x 0 tends to 0 then uh, then uh, then the above equation may be written as mu x equal to d x by d t equal to g into y by x. The mu will be what 1 by x uh, g uh, uh, g y x by s. Now, 1 by x g 1 by is less than mu max the limiting substrate is consumed as soon as it entered into the fermenter thus d s by d t equal to 0. So, this is the assumption we can rate that uh, when this equal to less than the mu max value the limiting substrate limiting substrate I, I explained that limiting substrate which control the, the, the growth of the cell as soon as it is entered in the fermenter and just d s by d t that will be equal to 0. Now, finally, we have this equation. If you look at BBS equation is like this, then uh, this equation we have, then we can write this equation that d x equal to g into g into y x by s and to and d t and this is indicate from 0 to t then in this particular system. So, we, we can we can have x t equal to the total cell mass concentration is the x 0 plus g into y x by s into t. 
Next is the total cell mass biomass concentration, x 0 is the initial biomass concentration. So, this is how we can analyze this system. Now, uh, that uh, kinetics uh, that uh, that equation that if you when we when we take the monode equation here mu equal to mu max s this can be equal, equal to 1 by x z into y x and we can write again in this form and from this we can find out the value of this kinetic constant mu max and k s we can we can calculate. Now, advantage uh, question comes uh, what are the advantage and disadvantage of the uh, of the fed batch process. The, uh, the, the higher yield resulting from the well defined cultivation period. So, uh, because uh, I, I can give the example the Baker's yeast fermentation process, Baker's yeast fermentation process. Now, in the Baker's yeast fermentation process, what is the stoichiometry we have? We have suppose we use the sugar as a raw material and sugar con converted to cell, am I right? The stoichiometry is that 1 gram of sugar usually converted 0.5 gram of cell. So, we, 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 if we want to increase the amount of cell production, so what we shall have to do? We shall have to use the, uh, the amount of sugar input to the system. Now, we have seen before that as you substrate increases in a batch process, uh, if you increase the substrate, then we find that kind of substrate inhibition. Mu we plot, we have, this is no inhibition and, and then we have some kind of substrate inhibition that take place. Now, question comes that means, if you, as soon as you go for the highest substrate utilization, then uh, that you know the rate, the activity of the organism that will be reduced to a great extent. Now, to avoid this situation, this uh, fed batch process appears to be the better solution. The reason is that since uh, when uh, since you are acting in a stepping wise manner, so amount of substrate that is uh, utilized in the system will be more as compared to batch process. Batch process, uh, the, the same batch process, same volume if you use and, uh, and compared with the fed batch process, you can use more amount of substrate. Since you are using more amount of substrate, so you will get more, uh, more amount of cell mass in the system. So, one particular application we have that is in case of Baker's system. Another exa example is the penicillin fermentation process. In the penicillin fermentation process, what is happening? That uh, one mole of, uh, we know that precursor that is required in the penicillin fermentation process is the phenyl acetic acid and phenoxy acetic acid, am I right? Now, so you know this is one mole of phenyl acetic acid produce one mole of uh, 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 that uh, penicillin G and you know one mole of phenoxy acetic acid produce one mole of uh, penicillin B. So, naturally if you now, and since this is uh, acid, if we add all this acid at a time, it will give some kind of inhibition effect on the growth of the cell. That is a major drawback. So, that uh, particular problem that you know that there, there, uh, there uh, you, um, that if you want to have produce more penicillin, so naturally fed batch process might be the one of the major approach. The low level of limiting substrate concentration helps avoiding the substrate inhibition. That is the this is the major facts that we have. What I try to point out, this is uh, this is substrate concentration and this is time. So, we maintain a particular particular level of substrate which is below the uh, inhibition level. Then you, you keep on feeding and uh, so that your, your, your uh, rate of reaction does not hamper. The really the catabolic repression when, uh, the, when this is an issue in the production process. The catabolic repression that problem also can be overcome. I have heard the toxic effect of some media components. So, that also can be avoided to some extent because you are not adding, uh, you are adding only the substrate that in the uh, stoichiometry on the basis of stoichiometry you are increasing, you are not uh, adding all the components present in the reaction mixture or in the, in the media. So, uh, naturally the, the possibility of toxic accumulation that will be reduced. The disadvantage of this process is a lower productivity level due to low high downtime for filling, heating and sterilization, cooling, emptying and cleaning the reactor. 
So, it will require lot of time for you know that uh, the downtime will be more and higher cost in labor and dynamic process control of the process is required. So, this process is not as simple as your batch process. In the batch process we have seen they we take the material at a, at a time allow it to react after this reaction is over you take it out. So that this is something uh, in combination of the batch and continuous process. But here we started with the batch mode, then continuously we feed the material in such a way that your substrate concentration always remain below the inefficient level so that your mold product formation take place and you get the products. So, so in, in conclusion what I want to say tell you that, uh, that as compared to uh, uh, that you know batch or uh, so chemostat or plug flow reactor, the fed batch has some added advantage, added the advantage in the, in the sense that, that we can use more amount of substrate in this particular fed batch process and the substrate inhibition problem that can be avoided to some extent. There are two type of strategy that we have variable, variable volume or fixed volume through which the fed, fed batch operation can be done and we, we showed you the how the kinetics of this process can be analyzed and finally, we discussed what are the what are the merits and demerits of the fed batch process thank you